Hello everyone. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to easily create a zip archive with advanced options in Power Automate. This operation can be accomplished using the Cloud Immersive File Processing Connector, and this differs slightly from other zip archive actions we've demonstrated in the past. Let's dive straight in and see how it works. As always, I'm first creating an instant cloud flow so I can have full control over my data, and once I confirm these details, I'm heading over to the Flow Diagram page. From here, the first step is to set up my file inputs, so I'm quickly adding a few manual triggers. For this demo, I'm going to compress four small files in total, and I'm going to divide those files into two separate directories within my zip using this connector's advanced options. Once the manual triggers are all set, we can click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Below, we'll see a list of Cloudmersive connectors, and we want to click on the File Processing Connector with the pinkish purple logo. Once we do that, We'll jump to the Actions list, but if you haven't used this connector before, you'll first need to provide a Cloudmersive API key. To get one, simply visit our website and register a free account, and then copy and paste your key into the appropriate field. Once we're ready to query the Actions list, let's type zip and look at the options that come up below. From this list, we want to select the action towards the bottom which offers advanced options to our zip archive. Once we click on that, we can see that we have a few different brackets of information to customize. As I alluded to earlier, this action differs from our basic zip archive action because it allows you to customize directories and child directories, while the basic version only lets you stack files. In this action, we can still use the top section here to add files without them being attached to a file directory, and we can use the bottom sections to create as many nested directories as we want. In this demo, we're going to create two separate directories and divide our input files evenly between them. To do so, Let's start by giving our first directory a name, like so, and then specifying the files in directory by adding the file names, file extensions, and file contents of each file we want to include. Just click Add New Item under your directory's umbrella to start adding a new file, and once that's done, follow the same steps to add a second file. Once the first directory is complete, click Add New Item at the bottom and start a brand new directory. Just like before, Give your second directory a name, and then add each file you want to include by clicking the Add New Item option nested within that directory. By the way, if you feel like this looks crammed or cluttered with all the text prompts, you can always use this little option up here to switch your view to a cleaner JSON array. This will let you view the data relationships we're creating a bit more clearly. Once we're done with this step, we can technically just create the file now, but I say we pass or protect it first using another file processing connector. This part is super easy, and we've demonstrated on this channel before. Let's make a new step, navigate back to the Cloudmersive File Processing Connector, and search Encrypt and Password Protect a zip file to find the right option. Within this option, we just need to pass output dynamic content from the Advanced Zip Compression step. After that, we can set a very secure password like so, and then customize our encryption algorithm if we want. If we don't do anything, this will default to AES256, which is fine by me. All that's left now is to create the file, so I'm quickly speeding through a create file step. Once we reach the file content parameter, we just need to include output content from the encryption and password protection step, and then we can test the flow. After saving my file and clicking test, I'm quickly adding in each file I'm compressing to this archive, and then clicking run flow at the bottom once that's done. Once the flow runs successfully, I'm heading over to my new files folder and making sure the new zip archive exists. And here it is. You'll notice when I click on it that I don't have to enter a password, which is actually fine. It will make anyone I send this to use a password to open it, just not me. Inside of this zip, we can see both of the directories I created, each containing two docx files. Just like that, We've created a neatly organized zip archive, and we can easily adjust our connector to add as many child directories as we want in the future. With our demo complete, we've reached the end of this video. As always, if you found this video helpful, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and check out dozens of additional Power Automate connector demonstrations.